and gentlemen, you are listening to Chopin's famous Polonaise, being played by the immortal composer himself. All the way back from the year 1849, here is the famous Polish pianist and musical genius, Frédéric François Chopin. Chopin, excuse me, Mr. Chopin, <clears throat> sir. Oh, yes. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Hello out there, it's me, Freddie Chopin. <laughs> Hi, y'all. Well, Mr. Chopin, it's a real thrill having you here. You know, uh, piano is my favorite instrument. Mine, too. I like it better than anything. Mm-hmm. Yum, yum. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Chopin, I wonder, did, do you realize that it takes three elephants just to make the keys for the piano? Really? I didn't know they did such delicate work. <laughs> well, well, now let's, let's get to the story about the real you, Mr. Chopin. Tell us... Who were your parents? Daddy and Mummy. <laughs> uh, were there any other children? Well, let's see. There's me, Chopin, and my brother, Peter Pan. <laughs> uh, what happened to him? Oh, he flew away. <laughs> <laughs> uh, sir, I, I, I hope you don't mind my mentioning it, but... After having lived in Poland most of your life, how is it that you don't have a Polish accent? I've been sick. As a matter of fact, I've always been rather sickly and puny and ailing and undernourished and gaunt and skinny and emaciated and weak and... Oh, my. Just look at those big, strong flowers over there. Well, uh, tell me, what are you doing about your health? What do you think? Oh, well, uh... The doctor suggested milk baths, but I don't have a tub. So? So I've been tying a cow to the ceiling and taking showers. <laughs> well, now, to get back to your music, Mr. Chopin, tell me, were you a child prodigy? Oh, yes, as a child, I had a musical ear. It was shaped like a banjo. <laughs> Although at the age of five, I didn't know a piano from a hole in the ground. But by the time I was eight, I was the only kid in our block who could play a hole in the ground. <laughs> I, uh, I noticed that you play a great deal in the key of E-flat. I refer particularly to your famous nocturne in E-flat. Well, I always say if you have the right key, you can play in any flat. <laughs> <laughs> That's very informative. Uh, now, now, to get just a bit personal, how about your girlfriend, George Sand? Yeah, how about George? She's a swell fella. My first experience with sand was on the beach at Coney Island. As a matter of fact, she's right here in the studio with me. Oh, is, is that your fiancé over there with the high silk hat, cigar, and tuxedo? And army boots, that's her. <laughs> George, won't you come over here and say hello to this nice man? Hello, nice man. <laughs> You do, Miss Sand. Isn't that rather an odd name for a girl, George? Well, of course, George isn't my real name. I didn't think so. No, my real name's Bruce. <laughs> my father's name is Sylvia, and I got a kid brother named Heather. <laughs> what was your mother's name? Stella, but she's the strange one in the family. <laughs> It's nice to know you, but... Hey, Freddie, hurry up with that interview, will you? We got an important engagement. Oh, that's right. George and I are going to a wooden wedding. A wooden wedding? Two poles are getting married. <laughs> well, now, I know you're in a hurry, Mr. Chopin, but just, just a few more questions. Now, history tells us that you were very friendly with and helped out many other of your contemporary composers. Oh, yes, there was Franz Liszt and Mendel's son and Mendel's daughter. <laughs> and I also helped that other fellow write the famous Hungarian Rhapsody, you know, by Goulash. Goulash is a stew. I don't care how much he drinks, he writes good music. <laughs> were you acquainted with any of the three B's? No, but I had four uncles that were AA. 
Well, now, do you have any advice for aspiring pianists? I say if he's aspiring, use a good deodorant. <laughs> Now, do you advise all pianists to use a pedal? Of course, unless they want to coast downhill. Uh, Mr. Chopin, before you go, I know your fans are all interested in your plans for the future. Oh, yes, I'm going on, I'm on a concert tour. Let's see. I go to Fort Lauderdale, St. Pete, Jacksonville, Buffalo, New York, East St. Louis, Moline, Davenport, Chester, Pennsylvania, Utica, uh, Binghamton, Spokane, Cucamonga, Fresno, Albuquerque, Tucumcari, Phoenix, and then for my second week... <laughs> I go to Dallas, Houston, Terre Haute, Thank Providence, Rhode Island, Frederick Chopin, Omaha, Nebraska, Oklahoma City, Vermont, Hong Kong, Yokohama. <laughs>